Hello, my name is Marion. In the blog world, I'm known as Miss Mustard Seed. And I'm Christy, and I blog at Rosemary and Time. And I'm going to show Christy how to use hemp oil and show you in the process. So hemp oil is one of my favorite products in the line. Now, first of all, it doesn't just, it doesn't just come in like beautiful packaging. Costco size bottles. <laughs> um, it comes in smaller bottles. I just use it so much, as you can see how much I use, that I get these huge bottles. And this is the only one I have. So. Um, I'm going to teach you how to use the hemp oil. It's an amazing product. Um, as I shared uh, in the lookbook, and I've shared it on my blog before, that it's a product that I had never used before I launched the milk paint line. And the manufacturer of the paint said, you really have to try hemp oil. It's a wonderful product. It's a great finish for milk paint and also for other things. It does a lot of things. So as I've used it more, I've really fallen in love with it and it's a wonderful finish, especially because it's all natural. It's an all natural hemp oil, so it really complements milk paint nicely. If you're using milk paint because you want to use an all natural product, hemp oil is gonna be your finish. So I'm going to show how to use hemp oil in a few different ways. The first one is how to use it to revive old wood. So we have this old wood tote here. And the wood is pretty, it's pretty dried out. Yeah. It's really lost any luster it might have had. Um, and this is raw wood. At some point, it did have some coloring on it, so it probably was painted at some point, or some of it was painted. Um, and uh, But it doesn't look like it ever had a poly finish on it. Um, so we're gonna use the hemp oil to give the, the wood some hydration and just make it look glossy and beautiful. I'm also gonna show how it revives this metal portion here because you can use it to revive cast iron so like cast iron pots and pans it's food safe so you could use it on old pots and pans or like um, maybe if you find like a cast iron typewriter or a awesome. fan or something just to I use it to clean up all that stuff it makes them shiny and looks really good um, and the other thing you can use it for is obviously over painted finishes you can use it as a finish so let's just get started um I have a brush there. This is our medium sized brush. And I like, this is my favorite one for applying oil. I think that it does, um, because the, it has thick bristles, it does a good job picking up a lot of oil to use. Okay. Um, the oil, as you can tell, the consistency is a lot like olive oil. Olive oil, right? Yep, exactly. And that's, it's very, very similar. Um, the thing about hemp oil though, is it will not go rancid when you apply it. So. Oh, okay. Some people have said like, why can't I just pull like the canola oil out of my cupboard? Um, there are issues with it going rancid. So okay. that won't happen with hemp oil. So you're just gonna dip your brush in just to get it sort of on the tips. That's perfect. So maybe about quarter inch to a half inch is on the tips. And maybe press it on the side of the bowl to let the excess drip off so you don't have oil dripping everywhere. Okay. Okay. And then just brush it along the wood, just wherever you'd like and the oil, I mean, I'm sorry, and the metal. You can see how immediately. Yeah, it just takes on a whole new tone. Right, it just like wakes up. Um, a part of that is because it's wet, so it will get a little bit lighter as it dries. Oh, and look what it does to the handle, that looks beautiful. Just makes it look, brings out that richness of the wood, and, and it doesn't cover up the patina. It's right. not gonna make it look new. It's right. just gonna enhance all the little imperfections in the wood. So it's perfect to use for antiques. This is my new favorite thing. Yes. <laughs> when I first started using it, it really is you walk around your house yes. like, where else? Cause it's gonna paint everything. You can use Oil. it on like cutting boards, kitchen counters. Again, cause it's food safe. You can really use it anywhere. Um, now, as you can tell, it, it looks oily because mm -hmm. there's oil that is not being absorbed. Right. It's just being soaked like a sponge yeah. in here because this is very thirsty wood. This wood wasn't as bad, so the excess is sitting on top. And of course, the metal is not porous, so it's right. not going to absorb. So this is just like a scrap of a t-shirt, a cloth. So you're going to take that and wipe away the excess. That way, it's not going to take like three months to dry. Right. So when you wipe away the excess, then that's going to make it so that the surface isn't oily. You don't have 
the oil just sitting there. Right. Okay. Now, I'm sorry, go Since ahead. Since it's still kind of like damp, how long would it take to dry? The hemp oil takes about 30 days to fully cure. Now, okay. touch this though. Oh yeah. It's okay. not wet or anything. You could use this if this was a piece of furniture or if you right. um, wanted to oil this whole piece and then use it you know, as a centerpiece or whatever. You can do that. It's not okay. going to be unusable like something that has wet paint on it. Sure. It's sort of the difference between using, like if you're using a polyurethane, think about that as a nail polish. Okay. That's something that you paint on that just sits on top. Mm -hmm. Hemp oil is like a lotion. So it's something that's absorbed into the pores. Right. So your hands after you apply lotion might feel a little wet for a little bit, but then that's gonna that's gonna go away eventually. As it absorbs. Exactly. Okay. So that's exactly how hemp oil works. And you could even get more aggressive with this and really rub away the excess. So you see it's okay. almost Yeah, but it still doesn't take away from what we just did. Exactly. It almost feels entirely dry. So it should not feel wet or sticky or anything like that after you do it. So that's how you can use it to revive old wood. You can just apply it with a cloth, but mm -hmm. I found that it's best to apply it with a brush, brush and then wipe away the excess. So there's the wood tote. Let me just set this aside. And now I'm going to show how to use it on milk paint. So this is milk paint over raw wood and the texture is kind of rough. So yeah. if you want to feel that, see how it feels before we're going to finish right. it with the hemp oil. So we're going to do a technique called wet sanding. And what that does, you look excited. It scares me. Okay. <laughs> or you're scared. Okay. That's your scared I've face. I've never heard of that. So. Okay. All right. It's a really easy way to get like a buttery smooth finish, um, especially with, with milk paint. So you can feel the grain of the wood coming through. The wood was kind of rough to begin with. And then we have, you know, a few little imperfections from the milk paint itself. So same thing, just dip your brush in, wipe it on. And for wet sanding, you want to use a pretty generous amount, maybe a little bit more than you did when you were using the hemp oil to revive the old wood. Okay. So, so you can see right away when you put the hemp oil on, it's going to bring out the richness of the paint color. Right. Just the same as it did with the wood. Okay, so that's good. So with all that oil sitting on top, we're going to take um, some sandpaper. This is a very fine grit sandpaper. It's 220 grit. Probably anything from about 150 or so on up would be good. And then rub the sandpaper with the direction of the grain over the milk paint with just light pressure. If you use heavy pressure, then you're going to remove paint. You're going to okay. distress it. We're not trying to distress it here. This isn't a distressing technique. What this is, is a way to smooth out the paint. Okay. So even with the oil on it, go ahead and touch and feel how much smoother that uh, yeah. is. So you can feel there's some roughness up here. So I would take, here, I'm gonna, I can't help myself here. <laughs> so see, I'm gonna be even a little bit, of course I do this all the time. Yeah. I'm gonna be pretty quick about it. A little bit of the paint comes off. That's okay, you don't need to worry about that. Panic okay, and then take the cloth and wipe away the excess oil. And around the edges, you can see we did. That's probably from me. I got a little, a little too <laughs> excited, <laughs> and I sort of distressed the edges. So if you're doing a flat surface, you're not going to have that issue. But now feel. Oh yeah, all <laughs> those like, like little bumps that you couldn't even see. They're all gone. Yeah, big difference. And so I can still see quite a bit of oil here. Mm -hmm. So I would really buff that out, so that and then feel how smooth that is now. I mean, it's just. It's so, so smooth. It is buttery soft. <laughs> yes, it's a wonderful way to get that really super smooth finish. And so when, like in the um, the video that we made using the milk paint mixer and mm -hmm. the mini stir stick, we had, I mean, mini whisk, we had some of those lumps and clumps. Right. This would be a great way to get those out. You can use hemp oil over a raw wood finish, over any kind of porous paint, so like milk paint, flat latex, flat acrylic, anything that will soak it up. Um, you can use it on raw wood, as I said. And uh, I wouldn't use it though over a piece that already has like a 
poly finish on it. Okay. Because, again, think about the nail polish right. versus the... It won't absorb it. Exactly. So it will just be this oil sitting on top. Now, it is durable. You can um, put glasses of water on it. I wouldn't leave them there for a long time, just like with any finish. Water that's sitting on it is going to damage it eventually. The nice thing about hemp oil is, though, you can just put some more hemp oil on, sand out that imperfection, and then you're good to go. It's it awesome. looks it looks new again. Whereas with polyurethane, you have to strip the, the whole, whole thing. thing and start again. So when people ask, like, well, is it durable? Is it... Well, it's not bulletproof, but it is going to be, for me, I found it's much more livable, especially with a family. So I don't feel like, ah, don't yeah. touch that. Don't put your yeah. glass there or anything. Um, so it's very, very durable. And um, also, during that 30-day dry time, it is an oil that's yeah. been absorbed into the wood. So if you put a piece of paper on the table, it might absorb some of that okay. oil or fabric. So you just want to be very just gentle with it for 30 days okay. as it cures. And the more coats of oil you apply, the shinier and the more durable it's going to be. But you don't want to apply so much oil that it's just sitting on top. Right. So that's really the key is that you can only apply as much as the surface will absorb. Gotcha. So are you excited to try? I'm going to go through my whole house and do everything. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> well, we hope that you're inspired to use hemp oil as well. It really is a wonderful product. And as I said, it's all natural as well. So you really can, we're, we're inside my house right now in my kitchen and there, is, there aren't any odors or smells. No. It's not, um, it's a great way to refinish pieces, especially inside in the winter if you're around your kids and stuff. And I'm actually planning on using it on my wood floors. Oh. Yep, we're gonna refinish the wood floors and use hemp oil for that so we don't have to be, you know, out of our house for like a week. Awesome. So uh, anyway, I hope you're inspired to use hemp oil and um, there'll be more videos to come on how to use all of our other products. Thank you.